pen tool is located right here and when you click on it you can simply click then hold shift if you want to draw a perfectly straight line or you can click anywhere you want and you can simply close that selection to bring in a shape you can then click on any of these points and you can draw them in outside and so on and as you can see all of these points are straight but if i double click on any of them it will create a curve and you have these additional options for that particular curve so you can click right here and you can bring this corner in and this corner will go out or you can simply bring them in like so by simply clicking on this dot and moving it towards this point and it will uh, create this straight line once again or you can simply double click one more time and it will create perfectly straight lines now for the controls you can see them right here you can lower the opacity of this shape and so on and you can for example create a round cap and it will create rounded corners for this particular shape and as you can see we are now at center stroke so you can see where this dot will go but if i double click right here it will create this uh, as a rounded point and now these controls really don't make any more sense because i uh, overwritten them basically because i double clicked on all of these individually so you can move them around you can create different shapes using this pen tool and as i said you can really play around with it and create different shapes that are going to help you with your design process and finally when you are done you can click somewhere outside and then you can select this shape on its own and then you can change the color for example it's white in this case and let's include red or let's include this color you can include the border and if i click right here it will come in at this color maybe i can type in 20 but not for the opacity but for the size of the stroke and you can see that we have exactly this same look so you can really carry the same look you want throughout all of your shapes and carry them on later on to the pen tool as well so now let me quickly show you how the blend modes work so if i place it on top of this shape as you can see in your layers panel it's right on the top of all of these other uh, shapes so if i click right here choose screen for example you can see how it looks like on top of this other shape if i choose overlay it's going to look a bit different if i choose soft light hard light so all of these are going to look a bit different when you place them uh, on top of each other but as i said it's really extremely uh, important tool to have when you're working with images later on now one last thing i want to show you about the pen tool if i click right here click right here then right here and if I hit escape it's going to simply use that line and now I can simply click round cap so if I zoom in a little bit closer you can see that now our edges are completely straight but if I click right here it will create that round cap if I click on projecting cap you can see how all of them look like so for example we chose round cap and now we want to add a few more points so that we can further create a uh, additional shapes to this pot so you can click right here then right here and then right here for example to add multiple points to this pot and now you can simply click on all of these individual points and you can further move them up or down and as i said for this shape you can simply double click on any of them and it will create this rounded pot for you if you wish at any point you can add new additional points to this pot and you can close it off like this one but uh, we're just going to leave it here for now and you can simply click somewhere outside then select it and then you can move it around because it doesn't have any fill color you can include that as well you can see how that looks like but because we created a spot you can increase the border color to 20 for example and you can see how that looks like if that's something that you are going for that's basically it for the pen tool and in the next video I'm going to show you how you can work with text tool and what it brings to the table when it comes to Adobe XD. So I'll see you there.